Ladies and gentlemen, we know you've been waiting for this one all night. We have two of the biggest icons in esports UFC about to go head to head right now. Nas, guys, if you don't know, let's put a bit of a backstory on Nas. So Nas, guys, is someone who kind of got called out by the competitive community because he's been posting a lot on TikTok, some great UFC 4 content on TikTok. Not much of that on there, but the guy kind of blew up a little posting that stuff. And so he was challenged, you know, come to the ESFL where, you know, the actual competitors fight. I bet you ain't that good. Well, that was where he started. He won his first fight. He won his second fight. He won his third fight. And now he is 4-0 and oh, and he's about to fight for the title, Kings. But he's fighting Ed Parker, guys, okay? Who is obviously the godfather of American kickboxing. But also here in the ESFL, he has been around since UFC 3. That's when the ESFL started. He cleaned up on the scene. Dangerous striker, some say. One of the best, if not the best striker on UFC 3. You know, people beat each other at different nights. But he's been back here for UFC 4. Didn't have the best start with UFC 4, let's be honest. But this season, reinvented himself coming back like a true champion does seven and one been holding on to the belt for many weeks now but he might lose it will nas go undefeated kingsley will ed parker secure a proper freaking legacy right now in ufc 4 because he would do if he took out nas that would secure this legacy for himself it's at lightweight guys it's probably going to be another kind of rigor mirror match yep that's probably how things are going to go Kingsley, I'll pass it over to you to break down some of the stats on these guys, but here we go, guys. The main event of the evening. Let's go. It's about that time, ladies and gentlemen. I am super excited. As Balian said, this is a lot of history in the making. Both guys really want to prove something to the ESFL community. Ed Parker, the icon, the precision striker, 7-1. Didn't really have the best start. Was able to go on a rampage to the title. His only loss in Season 3 was against uh, Kratos in ESFL 132. But man, elite sense of range, fights behind the jab, improving grappling. This guy is a champion for a reason. But the hype, the hype of Nas, 4-0. and oh, If he wins this, he'll be the second ever undefeated champion to his road to the goal. And I can't wait to see what he does. There's been a lot of hype. Can he live up to the hype? Has superb counterpunching, combo of accuracy and power, and just passion. Passion in the main event, passion for the title, wanting to prove the people wrong, saying that he belongs here. But Ed Parker, just in a once famous song from Public Enemy, don't believe the hype. That is what Ed Parker is saying out to do, to create his own legacy and make sure that he gets the victory and stays champion to go A1. But again, the unmovable object against the unstoppable force, it's all about the main event. It's all about the title, Bailey, and let's go. Oh, green shorts for Ed or black shorts? What a choice here to make a statement. Going green. Okay. And the black loss in for Naz. All right, here we go, guys. This has been a very anticipated fight ever since Naz, you know, came into the ESFL, especially in the last two weeks. We've had to wait for this one. I want to see what happens. This is a great contest right here. All right, McGregor mirror match. We've seen it all before, but we will get to see some very, very high level striking, no doubt. More than likely, this will stay on the feet as most of the fights have done tonight. But we cannot hate on this one, guys. Ed Parker, the legend, seven and one, the reigning PlayStation champion there with Connor. Signature pick for Ed, always has been. And Naz here counter picking with the same. So let's see. I a big test for Naz here. You got goosebumps? Well, I'm sure Naz is feeling some kind of nerves. Ed has been in this position before many a times. The biggest shows possible in ESFL history. Ed has fought on them. This is Naz's biggest test. But you never know. He might be a cool customer. They got five rounds to work, Kingsley. So I expect a slower pace from the start. Yeah, not, not a three-round fight, a five-round war, especially for the championship. It hits different when you go to the main event of these cards where everyone has their eyes on you. And right now, I'm loving Oof. the filling all process from Nas. Nas, a little bit on the back foot, but again, the counterpunching. How is nice. that going to be implemented against Ed Parker with his supreme Oof. striking? So it, it's going to be very telling what happens in these two rounds. I can't even say the first round. These two oh rounds are going to be God. proven very differently what happens. Ooh, so Ed overstretching a little there, firing when the stamina bar is low, but he just landed so many beautiful combinations right there, did Ed Parker. Faking body shots, then slipping the counter uppercut up the middle to re-fire and going back consistently with that two to the body, even nailed one rear uppercut to the body as well, the Ed Parker special. 
Ed is looking very good early, but you know Naz is taking his time, going to be making reads and nails him with that rear uppercut. Yeah, this is where you, again, you have to be cool as a cucumber. You need to Ooh, find another one and get a vicious uppercut along with it. You have plenty of time to react, to adapt and find your way into this fight. Body shots landed very nicely from Naz, but Ed Parker, we've seen this time and time before from Ed Parker. He sucks you in to his game plan, and he's able to dominate from the get-go. So it'll be really telling what happens going on these uh, next couple of rounds. Or yeah, and it moments. just depends how much, you know, fight IQ Nuz brings to the table here tonight. You know, if you do lose a round, you know, a lot of players sometimes have, have trouble adjusting, changing strategy, or even just staying motivated within the fight. Naz here, if he does lose this first round, needs to know that the second round can be completely different. But he's done a better job, definitely, in the second half of this round. He's landed his jab. He's landed a few of those uppercuts. He's felt the oh, he missed on the team. I don't know what happened there. Gets the sweep. But that wheel kick landed absolutely flush right there. The, the hype is real? The, I feel like the hype is real. Oh. The hype is real, people. Nice in a rock, head movement in a knockdown. Head. He did, he did. Still the first round. Ed's going to stay calm, but my goodness, Naz landed that wheel quick absolutely perfectly. I'm, I'm, I'm still flabbergasted. It just seemed like we were <laughs> on a nice pace, a little patient pace, but just a home run hit, able to get that strike against Ed Parker. Ed Parker, it, he still saw the situation, but go ahead, Bailey. It looked like a teep that missed. I don't know if Ed stood still a little longer than you normally would, or if the counter just came out that fast from Naz. Hopefully, we're going to see it. Yeah, hopefully. I think the replay would give us a good idea. Hopefully, oh, just a leg kick, but... Outside leg kick lands. No. Oh, well, okay. We oh, don't get to see it. A little bots. bit more stamina <laughs> loss from Naz, but he did burn things a little bit by refiring a few times when he should have reset, perhaps, but fairly even still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that has to be the game plan. Even though you may have won that round, you just need to win three in this five rounds. You can take a round off, try to regain your stamina or find your way just to like put like little pepper shots and not really like overexert yourself. I think with Ed, he has the mindset, but with Nas, it, it might be a whole different ball game. Oh, man. Nas just picking Ed apart right there. Ed, you can tell, is trying to just find his way slowly back into the fight. Not get too deterred, but right there, every time he steps forward, Nas is tagging him with something, leg kicking him on the outside. So he's losing this outside game, and he's trying to force inside fighting, but he's not able to yet. So Ed has to stay, has to reset. And reassess his avenue for attack right here because Nas is kind of just tagging him with so much on the outside in every position almost. Yeah, and the biggest question would be if Nas gets a second knockdown, would Ed Parker change up his game plan and possibly try to go to the ground game to just change up the levels or the timing of Nas to make him think about other things? There, there's a lot of questions going into this uh, second round. Yeah, and Ed not really using the kicks tonight. Really, really staying on the boxing. That's usually quite common for Ed, but that even just the leg kick of Nas is just giving him a weapon on the outside as well as that side kick, which just stops Ed from being able to, to really get into a range where he can fight. If Ed needs to step forward before he can land and Nas can hit him from the outside, that's just a little step ahead there for Nas. But Ed will still try and fish for those counter shots. You know, you take one big shot like a wheel kick early. It does damage, but this is Conor McGregor here. You can do damage with a three-piece combination and you can even the score cards, cards excuse me, very quickly. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm, worried, I'm really worried about the right leg of Ed Parker. We see that being peppered a little bit, a lot. And then Oof. body shots like that, you're just leaving her up to get counter to punish. Nas, I'm just liking what he's doing with the outside game. Just taking just a focused pressure attempt, attacking the nice body when he Ed. needs to, and just jabbing a lot. That was really nice by Ed right there. He landed the rear uppercut, then he landed a stiff jab to the body, took some long-term stamina, and kind of halted Naz for a second there. That's the first sign of life, really, from Ed Parker in this round in terms of significant damage that's going to help pay off later in the fight. Has to be very careful, though, because he has taken a ton of head health damage already, and he knows it. He's trying to stay out of range of that. But Naz, I think, is, is looking fantastic here tonight as a title challenger for his first ever run in esports competition. He's only had four fights, and he's fighting arguably one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, and honestly, holding up his own, especially with 30 seconds left. If you had this in your bingo card, I mean, calling me surprised. 
but so far it's just been nothing but Nas. Nas able to attack the body when he wants to, able to disrupt that block ace a little bit, and just disrupt the time of Ed Parker with those hooks. It's just working so nicely, and Ed Parker going to the third round, he has to rethink what he's going to be doing for these next couple of rounds because there's only so a few rounds he has left. Well, I think Ed was doing very well in the second half of that round. I think he started to land his body shots. He's eating the stamina a little. Ed, Ed was starting to control much better in that second round. If he does that in the third round, I think he'll win the third round. So I think Ed has found the answer to this. It's now about the readjustment from either guy. Like you said, that right leg is damaged for Ed right here. But he's landing the tips. He's landing the rear uppercuts. He's draining that long-term stamina. But you do have a point. Naz is still landing slip straights, lead hooks. He's checking uh, Ed as he enters. So it's a question of does Naz land something big before Ed drains that stamina a little more? Yeah. And already just look into the body. You just try to damage it, trying to gain a little bit of stamina advantage. I'm like, a, ooh, Oof. those slips. Those slips are so scary. Every single time I see both guys do it, it just gives me a panic attack. It, is, it, it could just be a crazy flash of uh, rock or another huge significant strike who who even knows but so far 60 percent of body shots are coming from uh, oh there it well, is but well, there it is he's been he looking said, for that is. the whole fight throws a lead hook to the body cancels it slips the uppercut because he reads the counter from naz and lands a lead uppercut of his own now not a massive amount of damage but it's a rock it's going to get some points on the scorecard and yeah it's going to do a little more damage to that health and, and even the scorecards here a little any kind of momentum is good momentum. Oh. The momentum like that could be flipped in an oh. instant. That's a knockdown. The second knockdown again from Nas. I mean, he's putting the champion, the champion through his paces right here, Balian. Man, we have seen the uppercut be a weapon for everybody tonight. I mean, that is no the, the punch of his 146 <laughs> is the other guy tonight. And Nas, beautiful timing on that. Just read it, landed it, and punished him off. Oh, no. to the body and another rock here for Nas. Ed trying to survive. But man, he is taking some damage. Calls hey, him on. Taunt. But he has to be careful because the amount of damage he's taken in a th by this point in the fight, you know, he's still got plenty of fight left. He's now losing the stamina advantage he had because he's taken so much damage and little shots like that with those teeps that have been landing. If they miss, it creates those windows and Naz is punishing Ed. If this was USC 3 and we still had Ultimate Team, that uppercut would be a five-star. Oh, oh, oh my god! Wow. That was clean as fudge. Beautiful finish from Naz right there. Sidesteps the tape. I did just mention there, Kingsley. He's, he's read that yeah. tape. He did kind of mention that he's read that tape. Moved out of the way of the first one, created the opportunity to miss, and then we talked about it right there. If he can do that again, it's going to be end of the show. The second wheel kick he throws, Kings. Beautiful job by Naz. And guess what? That man got a lot of hate when he arrived on the scene from TikTok as some guy who said he was one of the best in the world. I think he just proved it right there, Kingsley. Undefeated, undisputed world champion in the ESFL. The second man ever to be an undefeated champion here. First was Romero, 7-0. and And now we have Naz, who's here on the scene. How long can he hold that bell, Kingsley? I don't know. What a great fight and new simple as that an undefeated champion able to put it away i think that was in the third round too i thought it was going to go yeah. five rounds in my opinion but the way he was able to answer the bell from the first round first round and then on it, it was just incredible to see attacking the body attacking with that spinning roundhouse to just knock down ed parker consistently it was so consistent i don't know a lot of people may have hey where he came from from tiktok and being very viral but the fact that he was able to talk the talk and walk the walk and become our new playstation esfl champion i mean that says a lot you can't um, what else can you say now you can't we'll have to see what his next title defense is but man that's a scary scary dude if he's able to put away ed parker like that yeah yeah i mean and ed looked really good tonight ed looked yes. really good he got in a little bit of trouble early and, and even found ways to come back into the fight but it's a corner pick the damage the accumulation sometimes is a little too much and he was rocking him to the body then coming up top landing clean techniques punishing that front kick that's what the first wheel kick was off of it was off of a front kick and then again we saw it sidestepped it wheel kick response beautiful counter to that technique didn't give ed a chance to try and survive anymore ended it definitively and yeah we have a new playstation champion everybody it's naz and man i'm sure that guy's gonna be trying to hold the belt for a long time there we go oh
Wow. It's been a great card tonight, Kingsley. Yes, for 146. Great.